think I've got my So welcome to another paddling adventure. I'm Mike. We've got Pam and Gray. And we're at Seashelt Inlet. So we're headed out for uh, two nights. Friday night, Saturday night. And uh, beautiful calm conditions right now. So hopefully we'll get the site we want. Um, just loading up the boats. So yeah, I guess our well with these calm conditions, I don't know, maybe we should aim for although I see a lot of boats going out too. Anyways, we'll see. We're oh no, I don't remember the name of that point. Something or other point at the end of the <laughs> right at the end of the before the salmon arm turns off. So. Uh, if we can get that one, I'll show you that. If not, we're going to half halfway beach. So when we got here, these boats were five feet from the water, so the tide is moving in. So time to get get loaded, get on the water. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Sun shining. Wind's calm. It's gonna be fun. For about half an hour or so just taking our time enjoying the view snapping some pictures had my phone ring more today than it's rung in the last month so I've been answering the phone uh, just enjoying this gorgeous weather what do you think it's probably about 15 20 degrees at the most like it's not hot not cold Not a breath of wind. The skies are clearing. And this, just up to my right, is an oyster farm. Over there. So. I think it's still an active oyster farm, but I think right now they can't harvest them. It's uh, still red tide season, so. Anyways, so we've already passed one campsite, the Tawanic Point campsite, I think it's called, back there. And the next one is going to be Oyster Beach, and then we'll head across the, the channel here, or the inlet, and we'll check out uh, Halfway Beach. And if we find the right spot, we're going to set up, take a little lunch, and then head out for a little day paddle, I think, as long as it stays calm. This is just incredible. I did not expect this calm of weather. You know, we've already seen a seal back there. Hopefully we'll see some more. I'm on the hunt for some starfish. I want to see some purple starfish. Oh, here comes a little wind. I spoke too soon. Anyways, continue paddling. 
get back to you in another little while. I'm pretty sure right in front of us is halfway beach. If not, we'll have to uh, work our way back along the shore till we find it. But that's where we're headed. That's where we'll be tonight. And there's, that's fine with us. It's a nice looking campsite from the pictures we've seen. Lots of spaces there. I think it's got 15 tent pads. So that's where we're headed. And I am ready for lunch. It's 20 after 12. about now well, we came through here earlier today but we'll take a little walk see if we can find all the important things of this campsite uh, the food cache is located just back here Look at that two nice steel bins that's awesome thank you BC Parks for looking after us that is good so there's a group fire pit for when fires are allowed, which is awesome. The outhouses are up there, haven't been there yet. Well, it looks like you could get another tent or two back here and ah there's there's the fresh water so yeah we can get some water from that it's kind of slowly flowing long and we decided we better turn back to the beach we filled our water bottles up at and just wait this one out. Gray has let me know that he doesn't know where his keys are 
so we won't be stranded over here.